Hey guys, so uh, I have here on the left side the new JBL Pulse 4, on the right side the Pulse 3. So Pulse 4 comes with a new party boost that everybody is upset about because it's not compatible with the Connect Plus that, for example, here the Pulse 3 comes with. So uh, what's the benefit of party boost? Because now we can't use our old speakers together with that speaker. So now we're going to make the test today here. So I have here the Flip 5 which also has party boost and on here on the right there's the flip 4 which still has connect plus so now we're going to perform a little range test here to find out which of these two systems has the longer range so which two speakers can be further apart and we're going to find out if the party boost really has an advantage and why we would want to uh, switch to this party boost instead of using connect plus okay so we start out with the pulse 3 and the flip 4 so this is the test with the Connect Plus system and I'm going to uh, play my music here. The flip foil is connected to the phone and then the uh, Connect Plus is connecting the flip foil with the Pulse 3. And I'm walking away from the table now with the Pulse 3 and I'm going to do this until the music on the Pulse 3 here is going to cut out or if we're losing connection totally we're going to see here what's happening in a second. So. Now at this point, here you already hear the music is going to stop playing once in a while, so I consider this here the maximum range for as far as we can go. And you can see here we are pretty far away, but how far is it really? And so I measured this out and it ends up to be 130 feet, which is right around 40 meters. Okay, and so now let's repeat this test here with the Pulse 4 connected right now to a Flip 5 and we are using here Party Boost. So how far can we go away here with the Pulse 4 until the connection actually drops and we're losing signal? So is it going to be similar to the Pulse 3 with the Connect Plus or is it going to be more? We're going to find out here any minute. Right now we're already approaching here the Pulse 3 and at this point there's absolutely no connection problems here at all with Party Boost. So it's at least equal, see all the way back there, that's where my uh, Flip 5 is sitting at. And now, and so now let's keep going and we see how long is this connection going to last. Okay, so right now we're probably about twice the distance away from the Flip 4 all the way back at the table than we were able to go with the uh, Pulse 3. So twice the distance at this point and still no single dropout. And now we're really, really far away, so I can barely see the Pulse 3 there on the grass and back there at the table with the uh, Flip 4 and the Flip 5. And it's still playing here, so Party Boost with the Pulse 4 is still playing. Actually, I'm running out of space here, so I can't really go further back because I'm running out of space here, literally. I can't go further away. So I'm going here a little bit to the right, so I'm losing line of sight here. And at this point, then, the connection actually drops. So. Uh, it probably would have stayed connected even more if I wouldn't have had this tree here in the way. And the distance that I measured from this point here all the way back to the flip 5 is a whooping 370 feet, which is around 113 meters. Yeah, so we see here the Pulse 4 with the party boost has a huge advantage as opposed to the uh, Pulse 3 with Connect Plus, so uh, almost three times the range which is quite impressive and actually the test with the Pulse 4 actually could have been further away if I hadn't run out of space. Yeah so this is it comparison between Party Boost and Connect Plus. Let me know what you think, write a comment below and is this now worth switching to Party Boost or would you rather stay with Connect Plus? Let me know.